Hello, my fellow sniffers, flighters, and hatchlings. My name is Marlene McCohen, and I want to welcome you to my channel. This is Leo, and he is pretty much my emotional support bird. We have some sad news today on our channel. Um, that I might as well just come right out and say, because I know you guys are going to be wondering what happened or what the news is. And basically, our little Finchy has died, passed away. Um, I'm sure you guys, of course, want to know what happened. Well, there was nothing specific, no telltale signs of sickness, no accident or anything like that. He was just found at the bottom of his cage in the morning um, and he had already passed. I've had Finchy for about four years um, and I don't know how old he was when I got him, but I did talk to a lot of people this weekend who, when they got their finches, um, they were already a year old or sometimes two years old. So I honestly don't know how old Finchy was, but I did have a good four years with him. I wasn't there when Megan found him at the bottom of the cage, and so I was called with the news. And, um, oh, it breaks my heart. It really does, because Finchie was so special. I have so many great pictures of Finchie sitting on my tree and, you know, hanging out on my shoulder and hanging out in my room. He was just such a good sport. I'm really happy that I got him Fiona. I'm so happy that in this last year he had somebody to cuddle with and be friends with. I just loved their relationship. Immediately, they were very happy with one another, which means now that Fiona is alone and Fiona doesn't have a partner. And I just can't have a Finch be without a partner. Really, the only two options in this situation are to get another Finch for Fiona or give Fiona to somebody I decided that I want to get another Finch for Fiona. I want to see her have that friendship. I will tell you guys that this is fairly recent, but it didn't just happen. It happened about a month ago. It's hard for me to make these videos. As much as I love filming, I'm not the person to pick up a camera in an emergency or in the setting of grief. I'm a real person. I need time and in emergency situations, I need to focus on the emergency. You know, you need two hands and you need a calm mind and you need focus in situations and it's the same with grief. I took some time before making this video. Fiona has had her grieving period. Uh, Fiona's had about a month or so to really just kind of grieve over Finchy. You gotta give your bird that time, so we did give that time to Fiona and now she is ready for a friend because I can't see her alone anymore. That's something that you'll be seeing coming up. We had some really good times. I took Finchy on some day trips. I took Finchy to the grocery store before in a carry-on. I took Finchy to choose Fiona. Finchy has sat in my office with me, just kind of flying around, sitting on my tree, sitting on my shoulder, doing whatever he kind of wanted to do. And I loved that. Like, he had such a special temperament. And if you look at him, like, close up in photos, he's just was so beautiful and special. I didn't know how how well I could, you know, bond with a finch and hang out with a finch. And all those great times were so amazing because I, I honestly wish I could have showed them more, but I don't know, I didn't. Sometimes they're just, you know, things are for myself also. It's odd timing because I I just realized recently how much you guys enjoyed the Finchy content. I thought, you know, this is a parrot channel, you guys might not be interested in, in that, and I wish I would have showed it more. I've learned a lot more about Finches. I keep learning more about Finches. I would like to invite somebody on the channel to talk about some Finch care. I mean, I can always show you my Finch care, and, and I do and I try. I believe you can bond with any bird. It just depends on, you know, how you live with your bird. A lot of you ask me how I got Finchy to be so tame and to be honest with you, although I did do a video about it, I know a lot of you are looking for these specific tips and tricks and, and that is so useful. Like there are so many things you can do 
to get a bird to kind of adjust to you slowly and patiently and with Finchie it was just me hanging out with Finchie and that's how we bonded and uh, I do that a lot with birds you know it's a lot of patience and just keeping them in your environment and and eventually they gained some trust and surprisingly with Finchie that happened really fast. A lot of you saw like this small cage that I had for Finchie that would sit in the middle of kind of like the island in my kitchen. And even though it was a small cage, Finchie didn't, you know, Finchie would hang out with me in my office. But what I really discovered is that Finchie loved being in the middle of action. When I transferred him to a bigger cage, he would like sit at the bottom because he couldn't see anything. And so we really had to make some adjustments all the time. When he was in the middle of the island, I learned his calls and he had a call for like what he wanted and he had a call for like when he got what he wanted, which was so incredibly cute. When we would eat, he would give me this call like, yo, where's my food too? And then, you know, I'd give him his egg, his vegetables, different things, and then he would eat and then he'd make like this beautiful call after like, thank you. And it was really, I think, a good part of me learning to understand and communicate with him and for him to understand that I understand him, which is a huge part of taming and training and bonding with birds. Just showing that you're willing to accept and understand what they want really teaches them that their vocalizations and communications are valid, listened and understood. When a bird um, feels that way, they'll vocalize more, they'll communicate better and they will find new ways to convey things to you. And I felt that Finchie was able to do that. There's one thing I want to talk a little bit about and I think I should probably make a different video about it, a more specific video. I think it might be of interest to you. Finchie had a mate when I got Finchie and they would breed and have babies. None of them really lived or survived. They didn't really have the skills to take care of them. I'm not one to get into breeding of birds is a lot of care and you got to be really educated on what you're doing and finches they breed so easily but I did want Finchie to have a friend and a mate of course so some of you write in the comments things where um, I realized that this may not be clear when I chose Fiona for Finchie Fiona is actually an African finch and Finchie was an Australian finch and because of that they couldn't mate so they could be partners and they could give each other some companionship but they wouldn't be able to mate and I'll do the same thing looking for a mate for Fiona however on the flip side it's not that simple you definitely want to get educated on what kind of finches can be together because there are aggressive finches as well and there are species that will not work together and could be a danger to one another I feel like that's just a little bit important to touch on just because I see kind of a little confusion in the comments about that. I think the confusion comes in because I have the hut for them to sleep in because Finchie had actually gotten used to that and when, even when he was alone, he liked to sleep in his hut. So even though he had that, he was not able to mate with Fiona and they didn't. Two days before this happened, I feel really happy about this. I took Finchie out and I cuddled him and I kissed him. I gave him actually a little bit of little footsie washing. I'm glad that I did have that last moment with him. I wish I had more answers. It was, you know, kind of more of a surprise that happens sometimes. I'm definitely heartbroken. Finchie is like out of the Finches. He's my Picasso, you know. Thank you guys for watching this video till the end. Let me know in the comments what kind of Finch you think I should get for Fiona. Maybe another zebra Finch. I don't know if I could get a zebra Finch because I don't really want to feel like I'm replacing Finchie. And also, Finchie, you know, he was just one of a kind. I hope you feel informed and updated with this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for always being by my side. Your support means the world to me. I love you guys so much.